Hello, this is Diana Kluk here to share with you on a potent portal, new moon seed planting time, entering a new cycle. Uh, this feels like a big one, a big new, brand new cycle. We are today in the dark moon, the eve of new moon. And if you have already watched uh, the offerings I shared <clears throat> this week about grieving and releasing and letting go, then your garden is primed for seed planting. The soil has been turned over and cleared and mulched and is now a fertile bed and which in which you can sow your seeds for what you are wanting to manifest. The method we're going to work with um, and look at today is called a luminous blueprint. And this is a wonderful, insightful, practical practice I learned from my teacher, Julie Winter, who studied A Course in Miracles and uh, the luminous realm. So this practice begins by choosing something you want to work with or manifest. And you can think of it as the seed that you are planting. And you begin with the knowledge of where you are at now. You begin with the awareness of the capacity of this seed to become what it is meant to be, just as an acorn seed has the potential to be a great oak within it, so too do you carry within you the seed in the luminous realm containing all the instructions needed to become and manifest into being on this plane. So focusing on that seed we tune in also keeping in a beginner's awareness of what we sow being not just for our own benefit, but for the benefit and the good of all. Since we are all connected, it must serve all. So if there is going to be anything in the way of that, it may hinder the ability to come to fruition. So if it's simply for personal gain at the uh, harm or detriment of another, that's something we want to look at. So coming back to your focus on what you are planting this new moon, begin to look at all the qualities of what it is you are wanting to manifest. What is the essence? What is the shape and color, the values? What are the tangible and intangible aspects of what is wanting to take shape and form. You want to have a paper and pen or computer and really dive into this, this first step, taking the time and maybe over a period of days to write this out fully, fully envisioning all the details and 
once you have written this, what happens is you begin, as you dream through all the details, you begin to see where there may be some conflicts, some uh, no's that will impede the growth process. And then the next step will be to explore those areas of inner conflict and bring them to a resolution to turn them into a yes. Let's see if I can think of an example for you for this. Um, you may, a very, very common uh, issue is our relationship to money. If what we're trying to manifest is um, money in whatever capacity, whether um, another job or a new home um, that involves money. And when we look underneath the hood um, at our relationship to money, we may find there may, uh, may be some sort of conflict about how we feel about uh, manifesting a lot of money. Maybe it will come with uh, responsibilities we don't want or are prepared for um, consciously. So under these, um, un in these unconscious layers, we want to bring them into consciousness and work with them uh, with awareness so that we can bring balance and clear any obstacles. And there, um, as we do this, this brings me to my, my next point in the next step in the process, after we bring some of these conflicts into alignment with our seed growth goal and vision, um, we've understood the essence, we've dreamed up what in full, what we um, are envisioning. We've brought into balance any hindrances that may get in the way of this vision. And then we cyclically turn this over again, looking at what may get in the way, what may be a conflict. And each step of the way, we are looking at the practical aspects of what we can do. Uh, so say, making a phone call uh, to prospective uh, employers or realtors, if we're trying to buy a house or get a job. So these are the tangible, doable uh, tasks, the actions we can take. Um, or if it is to create change in immigration policies, what are those tangible that we can take action in? Um, so we list this, write this all out. We list the tangibles and the intangibles things that require some process, introspection, some more uh, work to tease out and untangle um, attachments that may be getting in the way, That's thing that are more, things that are more process oriented that um, may take a little unfolding. And then there is the layer of things um, that are beyond our control that would require some prayer or letting go. And all of the steps, the actions that are doable and practical, the parts that are process oriented and the um, completely out of our realm of control. These are all um, elements and stages where we can involve our prayer and invoke our guides and, and do this kind of supportive energy work behind. And then 
as you keep going through this cyclical process of revisiting, rewriting your luminous blueprint, you let go and give it over to the divine realm for manifestation. You do the tangible work, the practical applications of action and prayer and letting it go and releasing it and understanding that on some realm, much in the way this little seed, this acorn, has all the instructions needed within it to become an oak, so too are we connected to the luminous realm where, in some sense, what we are calling forth to manifest already exists. So releasing it and saying, so be it, and so it is. So I invite you to work in this way as an exercise for whatever it is you want to work with. And it can be a very small thing or a great big change, but this is a huge shift we're in, and that is my alarm for my omelet. <laughs> I'm going to let it um, beep while I just come to a close and wish you well, and happy new moon and many blessings on your seed planting journey. Thank you. <laughs>